Uh, today we expected a little bit of rain, maybe some wet roads, and we expected to see the beginning of the leaf peeping season. Some of the leaves are already turning orange, gold, red, various colors. Just couldn't have been a nicer day, except for the fact the roads remained wet for a good part of the ride. But even a, a ride on wet roads is better than a day on a Lusitania. Now, it seems like fall is coming very, very quickly. We've already had, even locally, some leaves changing. And this is the time of year I like to shoot a lot of pictures for my albums and for my share with my friends. This part of the country very soon is going to turn into yellow, orange, beautiful backdrops for shooting pictures. Hey, not everybody likes to shoot pictures. I do. And being honest, I really do like to get up on a cold morning when it's a little bit chilly and get bundled up, get the get suited up and get out of here and by the time I get home it's warmed up enough that uh, I wish I had my summer riding gear. I don't know if that's going to be the case today but we're not going to know if we don't get out on the open road pretty soon. Now we got two bikes coming up very soon for their oil change and maintenance and this is one of them and so we may get one or two more rides but then we're going to have to take a day and do the uh, the maintenance, the oil and the filter, and do a thorough cleaning of the bike. So the bike has 30, it's due at 32,000. I guess I got at least three more rides left on it. And I think it's reasonable to say if you do the uh, the maintenance required, and Ray Straub is famous for saying that you will never wear a bike out if you do the maintenance. And believe it or not, Karen still has a few tomatoes she harvests every day, but it's really gone downhill now. We're at the we're at the end of the tomato, I guess, season. We don't have a lot of roses left, but look, this one branch climbing up the, uh, the ivy wall, and we still have flowers. It's amazing. It's just been a wonderful summer, but it is coming to an end. And what good memories we had of all the harvesting and all the things that we've been able to uh, enjoy out in the backyard, the cookouts and everything. Okay, guys, no biting. No biting. Save that biting for Michelle. So it looks like we're one cup of coffee away from being out on the open road here. You think the birds don't get hungry this time of year? Right around now when it starts cooling off, they get hungry and it costs me a fortune to feed them. Well, we'll have our final cup of coffee and do a final check of the weather. It is supposed to rain. 50% chance of rain? I guess we'll see. Time to ride, but there is a distinct possibility of rain. Now, there's a couple of unique things about Michelin 2s. This set of Michelin 2s is on there since I painted the wheels gold two years ago. So I'm, I'm amazed how, how well they handle the wet roads, the slippery roads, and pretty soon, well, it's starting today. We're going to put them to test on how to handle wet leaves that are usually right in the spot you want to get on the gas first.
Now, this bike really is unique in one way. I've ridden many, many bikes on the track, including a lot of Luciano's bikes where we switch bikes, 1,000cc and smaller and bigger and whatever. But this is the only bike I've ever ridden on a track that at the end of a full track day, I wasn't exhausted. Of course, the sun would come out to make it a little bit nicer, but we'll take whatever we get, that's for sure. Now, people, def they define bikes by sport, touring, sport, touring. I don't know how you would really classify it. It's really a sport touring bike, but I classify it a different way. It's a good friend. I can get up in the morning, go out on a three-hour ride, sometime even a four-hour ride, come back and not be exhausted and ready for the hot tub. Now there's somebody with a real Halloween spirit. I love it. This time of year, so much fun. See the decorations, and we're getting a ride in all at the same time. One low price. Now, if you were a subscriber to the channel, you know how long it took me to mix the paint. I got the pigment for this paint. I mixed it. I did about 20 different tests. Finally came up with something that Karen approved of and that I liked and we did a test and When I painted the wheels, it was labor-intensive, but boy on a day like today. It really makes me happy Oh, it's still some beautiful summer flowers around I don't know. They're hanging on for dear life though even in my backyard, in our backyard, there's still a few hanging on. Now, a lot of people would customize a bike. They wind up getting a seat that's uncomfortable, bars that are even worse. Or doing things like taking the blinkers off the bike so it's uh, not practical to ride or mirrors you can't look out of. But if you paint the bike and put a set of custom wheels on it, just like this, I think those two things, you can change the whole bike and still have a comfortable, reliable, a bike that's still fun to ride. Even the roads and the leaves aren't spoiling the ride. We're still getting a pretty decent ride in. Amazing. And we want every ride we possibly can get. Now I've got enough miles on the lowered forks that I know now that I'll be keeping it that way at least uh, for a while. I really do like the way it turns in a little bit quicker. And having a bike a little bit lower feeling, a little bit more aggressive feeling, especially on this bike, is really a sport touring bike. It worked out great and definitely worth trying.
Now, another real bonus to this bike, it gets about just under 50 miles to the gallon, and it's got a decent-sized tank. So what happens? You're out in the in boondocks here where there aren't a lot of gas stations, and we're in farming country, and you don't have to keep looking down to see if you're running out of gas. That's a very, very convenient thing that you can basically tank up once a, once a day and not even think about it. Now here's somebody who's really got the Halloween spirit. Check that out. That's pretty nice. They gotta have children or grandchildren. There's no doubt about it. That is very, very nice. Anyway, we're out, and it doesn't look like the sun's gonna come out today. And we're headed up to the back roads. Now, all the custom carbon fiber parts I made from scratch for this bike, the piece that's under the windshield, the kick plates, the side covers, that, that was a lot of work making those side covers. And now that I'm looking back, and again, I always do this when I'm on a, on a long ride. I look, just sit there and oogle a bike for a while and think, wow, I'm so happy the way that worked out. Now, even though we have a cloudy, rainy day, it actually rained a little bit. You can see the leaves are really starting to change. And it usually only takes one night of frost, and they are ready to go. And see, here's what happens. Most of these leaves, as soon as the wind starts blowing, they're going to be in the road or on the edge of the road. And when you're apex and turns, you got to watch that they're not in the apex of the road. So you just heard that Valentine radar detector beep. Well, the minute I hear a beep like that, I back off and I go about another quarter of a mile up the road and I notice there he is hiding in the driveway. I see the red and blue little lights. Ah, Mr. Valentine, thank you. One of the uh, unusual things about this bike, it doesn't have a shift rod like a lot of modern bikes like the MT-09 and R1 have. So it basically, uh, I have not found anybody makes a realistically priced quick shifter for it. Maybe nobody makes it because of the way it, or how old the bike is. I don't know. I'd like to have one. After about three hours today, I just gave up on the idea the roads were going to dry up. You can see in this picture, they're still half wet, half dry. And the sun never came out. Usually if the sun comes out, you got a chance. When it's cloudy like this and a little bit damp and a little bit chilly, the roads are going to stay wet all day. And it's sure looking like it's going to rain any minute. <laughs> oh, man. We had a few light raindrops for about 10 minutes. I put the sandwich bag over the camera and the radar detector, and that was the end of it. And 10 minutes later, we were back to having a cloudy day. But all it did was refresh all the wet spots on the road. Not a real downpour, but just enough to make the road sloppy and I have to clean the bike later.
Plenty of leaves already starting to turn yellow up here. It's coming any day now, it's going to really pop. Now up in this riding area, just but people that don't live in this area, we're sometimes 7 to 10 degrees colder than we are down in uh, the area where I live. So I always have to fact that I didn't when I leave the house and I tend to overdress, not underdress. It was chilly today. There's somebody really celebrating. Look at that. skulls and demons and triceratops. I don't know what that is, a horse, I guess. Very cool. Very cool. You gotta get in a spirit. You gotta get in a Halloween spirit here. It's a pretty scenic back road. And we are we already have to start worrying about the leaves in the road, especially today. It's a little wet up here. It must have rained. The wet leaves are treacherous. And on our way back, it drizzled a little bit, nothing that ruined the day, but what it means is when I get home, I spend about a half an hour cleaning the bike up. It's always good, and I'm always glad I have that colonite wax on everything, and in wiping a bike off when I get home, I just use the detailing wax, boom, and it's clean in just a few minutes. So it's time to get back to the ranch. Baby, what I need is the biggest cup of hot coffee. I got rained on today. Really? I got rained on. Wow. I'm all wet. <laughs> Literally. Sorry about that. So the few raindrops we had didn't spoil anything. It's still cloudy too. I'm a little bit wet. Not really wet though. Nothing a hairdryer won't take care of. Nothing about four cups of coffee <laughs> won't take care of. Anyway, hope you did enjoy the video and thanks for watching. So if you're new to the channel, and I hope you did again, hope you did enjoy the video, we try to ride or work on motorcycles pretty much every day of the year. We do miss a few days. Not many though, really not many, even in the winter. And we're always working on some kind of little project and we always have something that we're dreaming about doing and uh, like the quick shifter that uh, I know they don't make for this bike anyway. <laughs> if they did, I think it would already be on there. And we're always testing out some new combination of paint and uh, the clear coats that we use here, the polishing. I try to share the uh, the technology I use to do the polishing on these bikes, which seems to be very popular because some of those videos have uh, six figures in hits, so somebody must be enjoying them. And I hope you're enjoying them, in fact. And it's the things we just do to passion for motorcycles that we all share. Well, basically, all of my friends share that same passion. Old motorcycles, new motorcycles, touring bikes. Some people have both. Some people have all. Some people even have dirt bikes. And I'm a little too old for dirt bikes, but uh, in my mind, I'm not anyway. <laughs> anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video. I enjoy going on these rides and then coming home and editing it down so I can share it with my friends. I hope you enjoy the editing that I do and the humor. We try never to hurt anybody's feelings. But sometimes we do, so I apologize ahead of time. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, we'll see you tomorrow.